In this video, we will cover the Fort Worth Fire Department driving course. This will be a timed, continuous driving course. It consists of four Fort Worth Fire Department driving skills, as well as five TCFP individual state skills. If a state skill is failed, that particular skill will be retested individually. Penalties for the course include the following. For the state skills, any hit cone constitutes an automatic failure. Each state skill also contains additional automatic failure criteria we'll talk about during the video. On the FWFD skills, there will be a 10 second penalty per cone knocked over. There will be a five second penalty per moved or bumped cone. A 10 second penalty will be assessed for hitting the stop sign at the end of the course or the failure to stop within one and a half feet of the stop sign. The total maximum allotted time for this course is five minutes, 30 seconds. Here we will highlight the five TCFP state skills as well as the FWFD driving skills. The first state skill is a 180 degree confined space turnaround. Skills two and three will be backing from a roadway into a restricted space, both right and left handed. This is also known as the alley dock. Next is ma maneuvering around roadway obstructions, also known as the serpentine. And the fifth and last state skill is driving the vehicle through restricted horizontal and vertical clearances, also known as the diminishing clearance skill. Now on to the Fort Worth Fire Department driving skills. The first skill will be a sharp right hand turn. Second is backing down a narrow lane. Third, a tight left hand turn. The fourth and final skill is stopping within one and a half feet of a stop sign without hitting the stop sign. Now a video of the complete course. We will start at the 180 degree confined space turnaround. This exercise measures the driver's ability to turn the vehicle around in a confined space without striking obstacles. This will be a 50 by 100 foot area, the 12 foot opening in the center for entry and exit. There is no limitation on the number of times a driver has to maneuver the vehicle to accomplish this exercise, but no portion of the vehicle should extend over the boundary of the lines. This is an automatic disqualification. Next are state skills two and three, right and left hand alley dock. This skill requires a 90 degree turn from the roadway into a 12 foot space. You must accomplish this doing a 90 degree turn. Nosing the vehicle up to make the turn is not allowed and is an automatic disqualification. When backing into the alley, your front tire at a minimum must come to the front cone. At no point can your rear tires exit the concrete and get onto the grass. You are not permitted to pull forward and reset at any point. This is also an automatic disqualification. Once again, be sure your front tire comes to the front cone and you do not back onto the grass. The next skill is a sharp 90 degree turn. If a cone is struck or knocked over on this skill, a time penalty will be assessed. Once the turn is made, we will back down the narrow lane. If a cone is hit or knocked over, a time penalty will be assessed. The next skill is our fourth state skill, the serpentine. Assure that you drive down the left side of the cones to accomplish this skill. The driver shall maneuver the vehicle around obstructions, reverse and forward. You must do this without stopping to change the direction of travel or without striking obstruction. Both are grounds for disqualification. When going forward, assure that you start on the left hand before you start your serpentine. Following the serpentine is a sharp left hand turn. Any cones hit will have a time penalty. 
The final state skill is the diminishing clearance. The driver must accurately judge the ability of the vehicle to pass through the opening. Any cone struck is an automatic disqualification. On the final skill, the driver must stop within one and a half feet of the stop sign without hitting it. Once the air brake is engaged, your time will stop.